Dhaka is one of the most densely populated capitals in the world and among the 20 most earthquake-prone cities in the planet. With its 14 million inhabitants and increasing urbanization, it is also one of the riskier places in Bangladesh. At present, 90% of our buildings in the city are non-engineered and not resilient to earthquakes. If a 7 magnitude earthquake occurs within the 40 kilometers of the city, just like what happened in 1885, it will be a big disaster. Rapid urbanization and population increase have created an explosive situation in Dhaka. It can turn any earthquake into a major tragedy. Before a building collapsed in the center of Dhaka city, it took seven days to rescue the people out of the rubble. It was impossible for the rescue team to enter because the streets are narrow. This will give you an idea of what can happen if a major earthquake will hit Dhaka city. This is the center of the old Dhaka. The streets are narrow, making it almost impossible for any rescue team to get into the city in the event of an earthquake. Exposed jangled electric wires and gas pipes remind one of the real dangers of fires that can ensue after an earthquake. This is aggravated by the absence of open spaces where people can evacuate to. Beyond the charm of an old part of the city, lurks real danger. Notice how the buildings were constructed. If an earthquake occurs, the buildings will collapse one after the other and many people will die. If a fire occurs, all the buildings in this area will be burned. Rescue will not be possible because of the narrow streets. People will simply die. Since 1885, the last big earthquake in Dhaka, the government of Bangladesh enacted a Bangladesh National Building Code and identified a number of buildings to be destroyed. But the plan has never been implemented. More than 200 buildings have been identified for destruction but no action has been taken yet. It is expected that more than 25 million people will live in Dhaka in the next 10 years if nothing is done to contain the influx of people coming from rural areas. This population increase will expose even more people to earthquake risks, especially in the center of the city. The Dhaka managers are currently trying to slow down the influx of people coming to the city by relocating small and large industries such as the garment industry to the periphery of Dhaka. The measure has already had an impact on reducing the number of slums and the vulnerability of thousands of people living in particularly poor quality buildings. All these measures have had a positive impact on reducing people's vulnerability to earthquake, but much more needs to be done. Some experts are predicting that another big earthquake could happen in Dhaka in less than 20 years.